Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a halftone low FPS effect. So as usual we're going to disable resample and we're going to apply the BCC plugin halftone. So um, I made my own little preset. It's pretty much the original. I just changed the mix with the original. I put it to round 38. Um, just so it would be a nice medium between, obviously, no effect at all and a bit too much effect. Because <laughs> it's a bit too black and white, so I put it around 38 because I thought it looked the best. So once you've done that, you are going to go right click and then down to properties. As you can see, the FPS is 29, so we're going to scroll down with our mouse until we hit about eight frames per second, because I think that looks the best. Click OK. And now we're going to preview this. Oh, and <laughs> you'll get a little bit of the clip before. Uh, you'll want to crop that, because when you apply low FPS, it does that sometimes. I think it looks pretty cute. <laughs> it's just a little choppy low FPS effect. Now, um, if you want to give it a little extra something, we have this cute little WoW PNG that we're going to apply. Um, we just put it in the new video track. Um, here, <laughs> I should have thought about this before, um, but I applied chroma key before I copied the video's effects. So now I have to copy them again, and I'm going to reapply the chroma key. Um, just make sure that your chroma key is obviously set to white, so you can cancel out that white background. And there you have it. It's your cute little WoW PNG. We can go into Event Pan Crop. And now you can zoom out a little bit, so you can get the size that you want it to be. I wanted to keep it around the bottom right corner, so I just zoomed in a little bit just to make it a little bit bigger, positioned it where I liked it the best. If you want to add, I mean sorry, if you want to take away the white little border, you can add brightness and contrast and use the darker preset. And there you have it. It should be completely cancelled out. Now, I don't really like how this WoW PNG is very static, so I'm going to give it a little bit of movement. So I'm going to make this the compositing child of the new track that I just created, and I'm going to set the new track's comp compositing mode to custom. Apply the um, displacement map, and I'm going to set my horizontal and vertical scale to 0.002. So we're having like basically minimal movement just to give it that little bit of pop, a little bit of flavor. <laughs> then you're going to go to your media generator, get the S texture noise emboss effect. And here I have my own preset, but I think it's pretty much like the default preset. The only thing that you really need to change dramatically um, if you don't want to copy the, the settings that I have, you just animate the seed and you set that first keyframe to uh, 1000. Alrighty, and then you go to the end and you set that last keyframe to 2000. So that way you get quite a bit of movement. Now just crop it to the length of your video or the length that you want it to be. And there you have a little bit of jitter to that cute little WoW PNG. <laughs> I think it looks quite nice. Then, if you want, you can create a new track and set this to screen. And now we go and import our light leak. So I'm going to have all of these um, 
in my video box description. So if you want to get the same one that I have, you can just download it from there. This is my personal favorite light leak. If you've seen any of my videos, I literally have it for like 80% of them. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> so here I'm just going to copy the video clip um, effects onto my light leak. And now we're going to preview it. And there you have it, a cute little comic book effect, low FPS, with a little bit of light leak on top. And it's quite cute. <laughs> Alright everyone, goodbye and thanks for watching.